Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be taking material from Polygon.com, bringing it into Cinema 4D using our material converter, and then rendering it out with Arnold. Before we get started though, let's take a look at the materials we'll need during this video. We're going to need the Wood Flooring 044 material, and the Polygon material converter add-on for Cinema 4D, both of which I already have saved to my hard drive, and I'll include a link to them below the video. Okay, let's head over to Cinema 4D. So this is the scene that we'll be working with today. Um, it's a very simple scene, just a uh, Arnold skylight with a HDR attached and a plane to put our material on. Uh, and I'll be using the perspective camera as our rendering view. And that is literally it. So, um, before we can bring in a material though, we're going to need to install our material converter. Now the way to do that, first you need to make sure that the zip folder is extracted to anywhere on your hard drive. I've put mine on the desktop. And the way to install it is to go to script, user scripts and then run script and then if I go to my desktop there's the folder that I unzipped and within that we've got a installer polygon material converter dot py select that file and hit open and cinema 4d will then say that it's been installed and that you need to restart for it to be activated now because I've already got it installed I don't need to restart so instead I'm just going to uh, well, the, the converter window actually pops up automatically but uh, yeah when you whenever you click on the plugin that's the window that you will see to use it, um, let's go through the options. The first one is the textures folder. This is where you tell the converter where to look on your hard drive for all of your polygon materials. So in my case, mine are hiding here. Uh, and as you can see, I've got a whole host of different materials. Um, and you could just select that folder and the converter will just bring in the whole lot, uh, which you could then assign at will. Um, but I'm just going to bring in the sp specific material that we're working on today, which is wood flooring 044. So I'll select that instead, hit OK, and now the converter is saying that it's found one material within that selection, which is good. That's what we want. The next option is the renderer. Now the converter will analyze your scene, figure out what uh, renderer it is you're using, and fill that in for you. But if you do need to change it, just click on the drop down, and the options are there. And below that we've got some advanced settings, none of which we need to change today. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and press convert. And it will say that the materials loaded successfully. It's also brought up the node network for it, um, which we'll take a look at in a little while. Uh, but for now, yeah, the uh, the material has been loaded in. And to assign it to, a, to an object, you just drag it and drop. So there we go, that's our wood flooring material now in place. Now before I hit render though, I am going to change the tiling. Uh, this will obviously uh, depend where you're assigning it to, but I just know on this particular setup that this uh, this amount works nicely. So let's hit render and take a look at the material. Right, so we have a problem. We don't see anything and that's not good. <laughs> uh, and we just see if that was the issue nope okay so let's have a look at our material and fix this because you might run into the exact same issue I have a feeling it's to do with the displacement strength there we've got there so I've opened up the node here and then you see here you've got the normal displacement node and the scale set to 5 let's change that to it's only a wooden floor so something nice and small like 0.5 and see if that fixes our issue and yes, well, kind of. <laughs> we can now see our floor. So the, the, the problem we had was that the um, displacement was set so high that the floor was being displaced above where the camera could see, and that's why we were just seeing the HDR background. Um, but now we've lowered that value, we can see our floor. So <laughs> that's always helpful. Uh, let me just see if I can fix the exposure a little bit on this, because that's looking a little bit overexposed. There we go. There we go. So we've got our we've got our floor material in, and it's looking pretty good. The um, only issue I would say is with our gloss map. At the moment, the reflections are looking really quite blurry. Um, and if you compare that to the reference images on our website, um, it's supposed to be a, a shinier floor than this. So let's take a look at what we can do to uh, uh, to adjust that. Yeah. So as I said, we would need to go into these nodes, and that's where we're going now. But we're not going to be touching the displacement. This time we're going to be taking a look at this node here. This is a gloss map, yeah? 
Now Arnold actually takes a roughness input rather than gloss, so this color correction is in place to invert it, yeah, because a, a gloss is the opposite of a roughness map. So that's what that node's doing. But we can also utilize this node to adjust those settings. So we've got we've got a, a multiply operation down here, yeah, and from here we can multiply the roughness map because at this point it is a roughness map. Um, now with a multiply uh, calculation um, in the real world, if you if you times one, i.e. white by one, the output's one. So with the multiply at white, it's making absolutely no change to the original texture. If you were to take that down to black, which in math terms is zero. If you time something by zero, it's nothing. So we just get a completely black output, which in terms of a roughness map is 100% shiny. So if I were to take this down to black and hit render, we'd see a very kind of mirror-like reflection, um, which isn't what we want. We want something kind of in the middle, about a 0.65 or 65%. Hit OK on that, and that should give us quite a nice result. So let's hit render and see what we get. Okay, so there's our render. I also tried to adjust the HDR setup a little bit. Uh, I'm not quite happy with the, the lighting we're getting there. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, if we compare this to our history, uh, where are we? So that was our original render, and you'll notice that the reflections are really blurry. And then with the change we've made, they've got it's got a lot shinier. In fact, I'd I'd say it's a little bit too shiny now. So I'd probably up that value from. 65% to around 75, 80. Uh, but yeah, yeah, for the purposes of a tutorial, I would say we have done well. So in summary, we've taken a material from polygon.com, brought it into Cinema 4D using our material converter, made a slight adjustment to the roughness map, and then rendered it out with Arnold.